Oh, okay, so today we're going to be doing a lecture on the cell cycle. And so the cell cycle is just how the cell lives, um, how it divides, um, how it just maintains its growth. All right. So for most of us, we know that the cell cycle um, is going to start with something called mitosis. Or it has a, a step that's mitosis, which is the actual cell division. So mitosis is the cell division. All right. Um, and then there's also something called the interphase. So interphase is everything else besides mitosis. So interphase is actually when we're growing. All right. um, and the interphase is broken down into the G and also the S. All right? um, so G stands for growth and S stands for synthesis or DNA synthesis. All right? So we have a G not at this, I'm um, sorry, G1 at this point, we have an S and we also have a G2. All right? So um, G1 is growth and, and S is DNA synthesis and G2 is more growth. All right? um, but this is all when the cell is dividing. So we also have something called a G naught, which is just the, the stagnant state. Um, for example, if your, your cells are not dividing at this particular time, then they would be in the G naught phase. All right? But any other time, they would be in one of these four, a G1, S, G2, or mitosis. All right? um, so that's all we really need to know for G and the S. Um, but we're, we're going to delve a little deeper into mitosis. All right? Um, so as you know, mitosis has a couple different um, stages. It has prophase, it has metaphase, it has anaphase, and it also has telophase. All right, so what are each of these? All right, so prophase um, is when we have the chromosome packing. Um, and we have a couple other things, um, like the, the, kinetic core, the kinetic core fibers, they appear. Um, but that's all the rest is not as important. It's just chromosomes are forming. Okay? That's the main thing. For the MCAT, we just need to know the bare minimum. Okay? Um, so the metaphase is the lining up of the chromosomes. And then the anaphase is actually the centromeres um, are pulling the sister chromatids apart. So these are pulling apart. Um, telophase, the nuclear envelope is now starting to surround each of the new cells, but we haven't uh, completely divided, so nuclear envelope um, forms. All right, so we're going to see what these actually mean. All right? um, so we're going to start off with this cell right here. All right? um, and so it has uh, four chromosomes like that, um, and we're going to say that this is diploid. All right? um, so it will be 2n and n equals 2. Right. Um, and so the first thing that's going to happen, it's going to go interphase. And in interphase, it's going to uh, duplicate its DNA. Um, so everything is going to have two like that. All right. So this interphase or this uh, duplication, DNA synthesis. All right. um, and from there, uh, we're going to undergo prophase. And so in prophase, now all these chromosomes are packed. So I drew them as now the chromosomes are packed rather than just free-floating DNA. Okay, and then once we're in prophase, we're going to go into something called uh, metaphase. And in metaphase, if we remember, um, all the chromosomes are lining up. So we have all these chromosomes lining up, um, and we have the fibers that are attached to them. And so now what's going to happen in anaphase is that they're going to be pulled apart. All right? So everything's still intact, uh, but all the sister chromatids um, are going to be pulled apart um, to their respective corners. And finally, after that, we're going to have telophase, and now there's going to be a nuclear envelope that is going to be surrounding each of them. Um, and so we have a nuclear envelope surrounding these four um, chromatids, as well as these four. Right? And finally, we're going to have something called cytokinesis, uh, which is actually the pinching. So it's going to actually pinch down here, and now we're going to have four unique, I mean, sorry, two daughter cells that each have four um, chromosomes in there. Right? Um, so now at the end we see that there's still those four chromosomes and still it's two n. So it went from diploid back to diploid. Right? Um, and we got two of these diploid cells. So um, in mitosis all we're doing is uh, duplicating a cell and we're getting the same copy of the exact same cell. That's what we have to remember. In mitosis, everything's the same, versus meiosis, it's a little different. Um, we're going to have unique cells, and they're not going to be diploid, uh, they're actually going to be haploid. And we'll see that in another lecture.